In the past, I've always given the Leap Pad 2 a hard time because it can't play custom videos like its competitor, the Initab 2. The Initab 2's big advantage is that it can have an SD card where the Leap Pad 2, you're kind of stuck with only the memory that's inside the uh, Leap Pad that LeapFrog gives you. Well, in this video, I'm going to actually show you how you can install videos onto your Leap Pad 2. And here's one, Superhero Squad. This is a show my kid likes to watch. So I go ahead and I touch it and it starts to play. And the video quality on this is actually really good. There's no video cameras involved. They're trying to record it like I <laughs> satirically said in my other video. This one is actually copying it straight off of YouTube and putting it right on to your Leap Pad 2 and they're all playable. Now the big downfall of this is that you know, you're know you only limited to a, to a little bit of memory that uh, comes inside the Leap Pad 2 because it doesn't support uh, SD cards. Well, anyway, I'll show you how to get this to uh, get onto your Leap Pad 2. First thing we need to do is you need to click on the link I have down in the About section, and it will take you to this page here. And this to download the software isn't hard, but it's just kind of tricky. You got to click the download link here. A new tab opens up, and you got to wait for this. And up here in the top right-hand corner, up here is where we want to click here in just a minute. It says Skip Add. You might have some big download buttons or stuff down here, but ignore everything down here. You want to click the skip add button right here. This is what you want. Click skip add. And down here in the corner, down here in the other corner, you should start seeing your download coming in. Now that's of course if you're using Chrome. But the important thing is that you click on the skip add button up here because all everything on the screen that you see is an ad. So, once you have the uh, file downloaded, you want to extract it somewhere. It doesn't matter where you extract it, just some place where you can find it. Uh, the best place would probably be like on your desktop or something like that. And uh, inside this directory is the actual LeapPad Manager. Now, this LeapPad Manager is not from LeapFrog. It's from, an, it's from a custom written application developer. And here's what it looks like. And we're going to open up this LeapPad Manager. And... We'll go, actually, what you want to do, you don't want to double click it. You want to right click on it and you want to say run as administrator. And then you want to say yes. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And what we want to do is the first, before we connect our leap pad or anything else, we want to go to YouTube and we want to find a video that we want to put onto the leap pad too. So here it is on YouTube. I searched for superhero squad. And I'm just going to come down here and I'll find one that looks like it might be kind of fun. And I right click on it and I want to say copy link address. And once you have the link address, then you want to go back over to the Leap Pad Manager. And we'll go Leap Pad and we'll go down to Video Maker. And this says FFmpeg is missing. It must be downloaded before you can convert videos. Just click yes. It'll download it all for you. You don't have to worry about it. You can see down here is the progress where it's downloading the stuff that it needs. In the meantime, we're going to, oh, we have to wait for this to finish. Extracting FFmpeg has been installed. So we click up here and we're gonna, we're gonna right click and paste that URL into here. This is the URL for the video that we just uh, decided to watch. So we're gonna call this SSH, or SS Super Hero Squad, SH. Superhero Squad SHS, and uh, let's see what they. We'll just call this O2 because I already have another one. And then developer name, you can put whatever you want in here. It comes from Deke Freak, who is the the developer who wrote this. I'm just going to change it to say YouTube. And on this video quality, we want to choose medium, and we want to say stretched full screen. Medium here, stretched full screen. The high is probably going to be end up being too big, and the low will probably be very pixelated. But make medium makes for a decent size and stretched. Then we want to click convert video. And what's going to happen is this is going to pop up and start encoding the video. You can come back over here and this is the video I think we clicked on. So let me go ahead and click on this. I'll pause this. You can see down here on the bottom it says it's 44 minutes long. So when we come back over here, this will tell us uh, where it's at. Let's see. Actually, right now, it looks like it's downloading the video. So it's at 17% downloaded. It's going to take about a minute, almost two minutes to download. And once it downloads, that's when it's going to start converting. 
So it's downloading the video straight off of YouTube and it's pulling it down to your computer. And right now it's 98%, 99%, 100%. Okay, so now the video is now encoding. And this happens all automatically. You don't have to worry about trying to figure it out. But this is where I was talking about here. The video itself is 44 minutes long. And right here, this tells you where in the video it is in the conversion process. And if I can scoot the camera up a little closer, there you go. You can kind of see it says one minute and 33 seconds, one minute and 42 seconds. And if you have a fast computer, well, good for you, because yours will probably encode a lot faster than mine. This, this is where it's at in the movie, uh, in the video that it's encoding. And like I said, down here, this says 44 minutes on the YouTube video. So that means that this has to get to 44 minutes here, and then it will be done. There's no status on this screen, like as to how far along it is. You just have to look at this number and see where it's at in the encoding process. And like I was saying, there's only a limited amount of space on the leap pad too. So you can't just go crazy and download all, all kinds of files and put them on to leap pad and expect that they're all gonna play. My guess, which I don't really know for sure because I haven't tried to fill it up yet, is probably about three or four videos is probably all that's gonna fit on there because I think it only comes with like two gig of memory total and that that's, includes uh, space for the for the operating system and all the apps that come on it too, as well as all these videos that we're, that we're gonna put on. Coming up on the end, here it is, and there it's over. And where'd the Leap Pad Manager go? There it is. Okay, so the, the video has been encoded, and the next thing we have to do, this is where it's gonna get a little bit harder if you wanna make it look fancy. Um, after we've converted the video, there's an icon LPAD PNG file and a preview image.png file that have to be edited. So we'll go back over to the um, directory here and there in the cache video cache file okay so here is the preview image and this is the one that will actually be on your desktop or on the leap pad 2's desktop so we want to right click and edit this and this is what the file looks like today let me zoom in on it a little bit okay so that's what the icon uh, looks like and so what we need to do is we need to put another image on top of this to make it look like something your kid's going to recognize. All right, so here's a screenshot in the video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the uh, Alt button and the Print Screen button. And that basically copies this whole picture onto my clipboard. Then I'm going to open up Paint. And I'm doing this on a Windows machine. If you have a Mac, I, I don't know what to tell you. So <laughs> don't ask me. Okay, so here's the picture, and I just pasted it in here with the control V, and I'm going to try to adjust this so that it has just Iron Man's face in it. And we'll do I'll try to do this quickly. I'm gonna resize the whole thing down like this. Okay. So that's kind of close to square. Now the original one. This one here, if you look down here at the bottom, it says 70 by 69. So we need to make, this picture needs to be 70 by 69 also. So we're gonna put 70 by 58. We'll see how that looks. Okay, that's 70 by 58, that's close enough. So what we'll do is I'll push the Control A button to select it all, Control C. To copy it and I'm gonna go back over here to the original one and I'm going to paste it on here and now I can adjust it down to the you know size that actually looks like it fits inside here and if you get it close that's good enough it doesn't really matter how nice it looks but so there's that picture so I'll go ahead and I'll save this and shut that off and here's the other one I don't need it anymore so I just shut it off and not save all right back over to this all right so we got the preview image or actually I think it was the preview image and so we can edit both of those but I'm just going to do the one so the next thing to do is after you have that file edited inside your directory that was a preview image then I'm going to click this create app button and I had two <laughs> I had two programs open. I closed one of them and I clicked the create app button and down here at the bottom it says created videos.tar. 
and that's because I did not give a name in here. Okay. So let's go see if the videos.tar is in here. All right, so here's the Superhero Squad 02. And we went into videos, and there it is. Now we want to right click on this, and we got to move it to the right location. So we're going to say cut, and then we're going to go back up to the LeapPad Manager and go into the install directory. And we're going to right click and say paste, and that moves this Superhero Squad 02 tar file into the install directory. So, now it's ready to have the leap pad connected. Here's the leap pad too. Now the thing we want to do is we want to let this thing boot up and then it's connected with USB to the computer. Now when this boots up, you got to let the LeapFrog application start up and do all the updates uh, so that it will release its connection to this uh, leap pad too. So over here on the computer screen, now they got it connected, you'll see that it's starting to uh, I'm going to drop it down a little bit. There we go. The uh, LeapFrog application is starting up here in the background. You see it here, parent, parent account, settings. All right. So right here it says checking for uploads connected. Okay. Once you get this all cleared out and this thing does all of its magic it needs to do, you need to shut this off. Let's click the X. And okay. So now, back in, back in this uh, video creator, I want to go, I want to shut this off. So here it is back in the LeapPad manager. I want to go to LeapPad, connect, and this is where it should say connected. If it doesn't say connected to your LeapPad, it's probably because you didn't right click and say run as administrator. So make sure you do that. Okay, so here's your programs that are all installed on your LeapPad, and down here it shows you how much space is left. Now, I'm not sure how to interpret this as, you know, how much, how many movies it can hold or whatever, or videos. But, so you just have to kind of wait and see. And this shows you your battery life. So, since we're connected to LeapPad 2 now, we want to go to uh, LeapPad. And this is where we want to click this install apps from install folder. This is why it's important to move the app over to the install folder so that it will actually install. Ooh, let's get this back up here. All right, so I'll go ahead and I'll click this install apps from install folder, and there it starts to go. And you'll see the progress start to happen over here. Now, if you had converted two movies or three movies, you could have put them all into the directory at the same time, and they would probably just copy one, then the next one, then the next one. So, but in this case, we just did the one. So here it is, just finishing, and baby there it is all right so it finished so let's go to leap pad disconnect all right disconnected so here it is back on the leap pad and apparently i was wrong and you're supposed to do the other file because this is the default image that you get if you don't edit it so let's click on video and Here's the video. All right, so if you want to have the icon actually be right, you want to update the other one. <laughs> I told you the wrong one. That's This is the one that you uh, don't want to update. Anyway, the video's playing on here. Let's see if it'll skip forward. Yep, it'll skip forward. Super Hero Squad, nice. All right, so, and look here. The time on this says 44 minutes also, which uh, the YouTube said 44.03, so they probably just got different rounding. But anyway, it looks like the whole video got on here. So anyway, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. If you uh, have success, let me know too. And thanks for watching.